Hello, hello. Hello, how are you guys? Hello from the other side. <laughs> like the son of Adele. Hello. All right. Okay, guys. So good night. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, you know, I appreciate your being here with us today, guys. It's been really cool that you have been joining. We're about to finish the second week now, huh? You know, how crazy is that? You know, that's really crazy because actually I feel, I believe like we just started, you know, but it's been eight days already, you know, so that's pretty good. So um, now what I want to say right here, guys, is that, uh, you know, um, we are going to finish the, the second week today. Today is the last week of class. I'm sorry, the last class of this week. Then we're going to meet next monday right that is when we are going to meet so that's pretty much what i wanted to say um besides that uh, i just want to remind you guys uh, to work on the platform you know uh, make sure that uh, you do the midterm you know that's something that you're gonna make sure about you know so you guys need to work on that okay um but before we start i don't know if you guys have a question anything you guys want to say alguna pregunta any question do you have anything before we start no yes could it be what do you think no questions or yes, yes or no, no, no hay preguntitas, no bien, no calidad, okay, so uh, no problem then, let's continue with this, now I just want to say a couple of things uh, guys, and let me just go back here, okay, this is ours right here, Give me just a minute. Okay. All right. Um, just in the meantime, guys, I'm going to start like um, you know, like checking or um working with the attendance. Okay. So I'm gonna start uh working on this right now. So I'm gonna go uh and if you are here, you can say present or I'm here, please. You guys can say it. So Abigail, Elizabeth. I am here. Thank you. Then we go with uh, Alejandro Antonio. Okay. Then let's go with Anderson Jeremy. Present. Thank you. Blanca Stephanie. Present. Mm -hmm. Briseida Liz Lizbeth. Camila Lisette. Present. Carlos Aníbal. Present. Cecia Gemima. Okay, uh, let's go with Claudia Maricela. Okay, uh, Christian Daniel. Present. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth. I'm here. Eh, Estela Marisol. Okay, and then we go with um, Fernando Jose. Okay. 
let's see. Okay. Um, so he's not here either. Give me just a minute. All right. Fernando Jose is not here. Uh, Najet, Floricia Menjibar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Hazel Marcela. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. It is Milena. Present. Hi, Alexander. Uh, hi, May Ivan. Yeah, here, Thank you. Juana Isabel. Right, let's go with. Uh, Oh my bad. This is here and this is here. And now we go with a uh, Karina Yamilet. Karina Joanna. Oh, pardon, Carla Joanna. Sorry. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm changing names. Uh then let's go with Carla Marcela. I'm here, teacher. Mm -hmm. Then we go with um Kevin Joel. Right, uh, Crisia Dorilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And we go with Lazaro Eduardo. I'm here. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, is there anyone that I didn't mention that is here? No, yes, could it be? All right, okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, thank you for helping me with this. Okay. Now, I got to tell you what we're going to be doing today, guys, is the following. Um, so I am going to be, uh, we are going to be finishing uh, a couple of activities right there regarding the last topic, which it was the adjectives. But then we're going to do a little speaking practice. And if you have questions about any topic of the topics that we have started, uh, the Sorry, then I'm going to answer those questions that you might have, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is not what I want, I think. Give me a second here. So this is what I want. Number two. And just one quick thing that I want to say. Recuerden, uh, recuerden chicos, que... Acá está el midterm, right? Para que si, si recuerdan, lo hemos estado hablando todos estos días y tienen que eh, tenerlo completado todo, todo, todo el midterm y la section three by tomorrow midnight, okay? Para mañana medianoche, right? So just keep an eye on that, okay? Just keep it up. And so this is where we were, okay? And... Okay, cool. Now, let's see. All right. Now, this is what it is right here. Now, um, just in order to remember a little bit of what we were talking, uh, we were talking about the adjectives. We know that we have appearance adjectives and personality adjectives. So I'm going to play the audio once uh, the video, and I'm going to listen and watch it. Tell me. Eh, Fernando dice que no se puede conectar porque tiene algunos problemas. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that, okay? Um, okay. All right, let's see. Um, so, let's go for it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives, which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. 
She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My coworker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So this is what I want to show to you, okay? Now, we can actually use the adjectives. Uh, you know, we use the adjectives to describe people, right? That's what we use it for. Now, uh, we have something right here, like it says, my friend John is really tall, you know? Like we are describing, we are describing uh, my friend. You know, you can describe your mother, you can describe your, yourself, your brother, sister, any person actually. That's what you can do. Entonces, acordémonos, usamos los adjetivos para describir a las personas, right? To describe people. Those are the ones that we have. We have tall, short, heavy, friendly, good looking, thin. Handsome, pretty, quiet, talkative, serious, funny, and shy. Okay, those are the ones that we have. Now, I just want to tell you something. For example, then you can describe um, you can describe yourself, and you can say, "Okay, I'm short, talkative, and funny." Okay, but you can also describe somebody else, and you can say, "My brother is heavy, shy, and." tall so you're describing yourself but you're also describing somebody else okay that's what you guys can do right and so that's basically what we can do what we can talk about that what we can talk about when we use the adjectives now right here guys there is something that we need to focus on we actually have personality um you know adjectives but we also have appearance appearance it has to be on how you look right how is your body, like uh, if you're tall, if you're short, if you're heavy, you know, like that's what it is. But the, uh, that's the appearance, right? And the personality is how you are. Um, if you are shy, for example, you know, like if you are funny, like haha, you're always laughing, you know, like you're always talking. That is the personality. And that's what we have to do. So we got personality and appearance adjectives. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you have a question about the meaning of each of any of these adjectives? Questions about this? Teacher, que significa good looking? In English, what's the meaning of good looking? Uh -huh. Tell me, Carla, tell me. <laughs> Uh, in English, esa pregunta se les enseñé, me acuerdo yo, pero se la voy a poner. Ok, para que vea. What's the meaning? What's the meaning? Uh, of, tararara, in Spanish. Right? Uh -huh. Carla, once again, please. What's the meaning of... Uh -huh. What's the meaning of good looking? Okay. Good looking. It's like you look good, you know, like your face and your body and everything. Like, I would say, bien parecido. Mm -hmm. O bien parecida. Mm -hmm. okay. Good looking. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Any other question?
-hmm. No? No more? What is the meaning thing? Thing is the opposite of heavy. So thing is like delgadito. <laughs> That's what it is. Delgado, right? That's what it is. Thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do something, guys. In your on your notebook, I want you to work on this. Right, personality and appearance. Okay. Then you write all the personality adjectives, and then you go and you write all the appearance adjectives. Okay. Let's work this on your workbook. Okay. I'm sorry, not workbook, on your notebook. Okay. So let's work it out. Vamos a trabajar eso en el cuaderno. Okay. Vamos a hacer la lista de los personality adjectives y appearance adjective. I'm going to give you five minutes. Va a dar cinco minutos. I'm going to give you five minutes. So you guys work on that. And when you finish, cuando termine, levante su manita virtual, please. Mm -hmm. Raise your virtual hand. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Abigail. Solo sería apartarlos, se me dieron la palabra, o sea, o describirlos. Just divide them. Solo dividirlos. Just divide them in uh, personality and appearance. Mm -hmm. Just that. Por el momento, solo, oh, solo eso. For the moment, just for the moment. <laughs> All right. Can you re repeat, please? Yes, for sure. Um, we have to do a the we have to divide them, the adjectives. Hay, hay adjetivos que son de personalidad, de personality, y otros que son de appearance. So, lo que tenemos que hacer es dividirlos. Por ejemplo, acá, funny, it's personality. But handsome is appearance. So, vamos a hacer una listita de los dos on your notebook. Mm -hmm. En su cuaderno, on your notebook. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Y cuando terminen, levanten su manito virtual, please. You can say, I'm finished. Virtual, no, no la real, si no van a estar así toda la clase, ok, la manita virtual, por favor, ok, the virtual hand. Tengo una pregunta y con eh, respecto a Kevin, el adjetivo este, se puede tomar como de como de pesado, de, de gordito y también pesado como que su personalidad es muy fuerte. Entonces no sé ahí. Ah, ok, ok, I got it, I got it. Eh, actually, it's just about, um, it's just about appearance. In this case, it will be just about appearance. Like, because you're describing the person. 
Eh, es que sí. saben, también pueden decir chubby o, o fat, pero esas son como ofensivas. Entonces, por eso, uh, si le dicen a alguien gordito, entonces tendrían que decirle como heavy, para que la persona no se sienta ofendida. Pero si usted a alguien le dice, hey, you're fat, o le dice, you're chubby, es como, es como ofensivo. Claro, si son sus amigos, pues, usted seguramente le dice. ¿no? <ríe> Pero a alguien así que no tiene mucha confianza, es like saying heavy. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces sería en... Eh... Appearance. Appearance. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me, Jaime. You finish? Yes? Yeah. Awesome. Good, good, yeah. good. Okay, I was just checking. Solo chequeando. Okay, thank you, thank you. We will start checking just in one minute, okay? I have a question. Ah, uh -huh, tell me. Uh, serious could be appearance? Mm. Or personality? Uh, I wouldn't say it's appearance. It's actually, uh, it actually goes to the personality of the person, how the person behaves. So, yeah, it's not appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, ¿Cuándo se termina este módulo? Uh, July 13, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, es que este, tenía una pregunta, no sé si Andy les escribió a los demás, diciéndoles que había inscribirse al nuevo módulo, al siguiente módulo, algo así. Uh -huh. Sí, eh, mm. hacen como una... Me comienzan como a, a hacer una, uh, voy a decir, como una precalificación de ya. Uh, entonces, sí, comienzan a llenar toda la información de una vez. Entonces, para cuando ustedes ya pasan y todo, pues ya de una vez tienen toda su información y boom, yeah, just start once again. Ajá, so si les escriben y les mandan la info, ustedes también eh, traten de enviarla lo más rápido que puedan. Uh -huh. Es que yo, o sea, se me hacía extraño porque no la envié al grupo, sino que personalmente. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, I have a question. Uh, what it is uh, here? Oh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. What it is? Eh, eh, quiet, quiet, no sé, algo así. Quiet, quiet. Ah, quiet. Quiet. Ajá, it's quiet. Ajá, sorry. Eh, eh, ¿Qué significa? Uh, it's like somebody that doesn't talk much. Um, él es quiet. ¿Cómo lo ve a él usted? Aquí el señor este. <laughs> He's quiet. It's como like... Callado, no habla mucho, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're welcome.
Okay, did you finish? Yes or no? One more minute. One more minute. Raise your virtual hand. Levanten su manita virtual si ya terminó. Okay, no esta, por si no se va a estar. <laughs> okay, la virtual. <laughs> the virtual hand, please. Virtual hand, that's the one I want. Okay. Okay, I think we will start checking this right here, okay? So, um, I'm going to go now, uh, let's see with, uh, okay. I'm gonna read them and then you tell me, you tell me if it is personality or if it is appearance. So for example, tall, what is it? Personality or appearance? Personality. Personality, yes. What about short? <laughs> Appearance. Sorry, my bad. My bad. I said I said it the other way. Tall is actually uh, appearance because it's how you look. Okay, my bad. I, I don't know if I said that before. But tall is um, appearance. Then we got short. What is short? Mm -hmm. Appearance. Appearance as well. Yes. Uh huh. What about if I say heavy? Appearance. Appearance, yes. What about friendly? Personality. Personality. Uh huh. How about good looking? Personality. Mm. Appearance. 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 Actually, with appearance. appearance. Uh huh. What about thing? Appearance. appearance. Mm -hmm. That actually goes with appearance. How about if I say handsome? Appearance. appearance. Mm -hmm. How about pretty good? Appearance. appearance. Right. And what about if I say good looking? Appearance. Appearance. Mm -hmm. appearance. Right. That's what it is. And then we also got serious personality personality, personality. funny personality, personality. Mm -hmm. talkative personality quiet personality shy personality. personality yay yes that's what that's what it is you know so that's exactly what it is so now with these adjectives we can describe people and we can describe ourselves for example, you can say, I'm funny, smart, and very handsome. You know, that's what you can say. So that's what we're going to do right now. So for example, I have an uh, an option, right? Uh, I'm sorry, an example here. I'm short, talkative, and funny. And then I have a, an example about my brother. My brother is heavy, shy, and tall. So that's what you're going to do right now, guys. So what I want you to do right now is the following. On your notebook, I want you to write, okay? Write on your notebook uh, a description about yourself. So describe yourself. Like, for example, I'm short, tall, and talkative. But then describe somebody else. Describe a friend. Describe a person. And then you can say, you can describe your brother, your mother, your sister, your friend. And then you say, my brother is heavy, shy, and tall. That's what it is. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on your notebook and su cuadernito, right? Describe yourself and one friend, please. And I'm going to give you a few minutes. If you have a question, let me know, please.
All right. Raise your virtual hand whenever you finish, okay? No, la, la If you have a question, let me know, guys. Okay, recuerden es describirse ustedes y un amigo suyo o familiar o alguien. O si quieren describir más de uno, se puede también. Ya vamos a comenzar a chequear eso. We're going to start asking that just in, a, in one minute, okay? Teacher. Huh? Tell me. How do you pronounce um, tell, tell How do you pronounce a uh, what? I'm sorry, which one? What? Uh, you can spell it. <laughs> Uh, talkative. Talkative. Uh, talkative. Talkative. Like talks a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, talkative. Um, okay. Curioso, no pronunciamos la L ahí. No decimos talkative, sino que talkative. Mm -hmm. We don't pronounce the L. There are a lot of words in English where you don't pronounce the L. And there are some exceptions as well, but a lot of those, we don't need to pronounce the L. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start like this, but 
we have two questions and this is what we're going to do. And it says, for example, what are you like? Okay. If I ask you, what are you like? It's like saying, como eres, right? Estoy preguntando por una description. And then you will give your description and you will say, I'm short, talkative, and funny, right? Or something. That's an example. But then you can also say like, what is your friend like? Okay. And then you can say, um, he is, she is, and then you say, heavy, shy, or tall. Okay, so lo que vamos a hacer es, this es parte del speaking activity that I have prepared para ahora. Uh, I'm going to ask a question to one of you. For example, to Jaime, y después Jaime le va a hacer ya sea una pregunta o las dos preguntas a alguno de ustedes y esa persona que le pregunten después le va a preguntar al otro and so on. We're going to do a little chain, chain, okay? So, Jaime Iván, what are you like, Jaime? I, I am tall, thin, and handsome. Good, awesome, yeah. All right, now you, Jaime, go ahead and ask one of those questions to one of your classmates. Uh... Abigail Elisa, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, what are you like? Mm, I am shy, quiet, and short. Good description. Now your turn, Elizabeth. Um, Please, yeah. What are you like? I'm sure, talk, talkative, and really friendly. Really friendly. Mm -hmm. Really friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your turn. Iris, Milena, what are you like? I'm sure, friendly, and funny. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. Uh, what is your friend like? Mm, Blanca Stephanie. Sí, puede describir a un, a un pariente. Porque friends significa amigo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Um, no importa. Usted puede escribir a quien usted quiera. Mm -hmm. A un amigo, amiga, pariente. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My sister is tall, talking, and funny. Talkative and funny. Sí. What? As you like Anderson, Jeremy. Uh, I am serious. Uh, get, get, um, quiet. Sorry. Hmm? Quiet. 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 And um, tall. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Keep going, please. What are you like, Floricia? Yeah, we can listen, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Sure. Um, talkative. Sure. Talkative. Um, okay. Short. Short and talkative. Mm -hmm. 
Now is your turn. Ask somebody, please. Um, yes, it's right there. Anima. <laughs> uh, what is your um, what is your life? Anima. Repeat the question, please. Repeat the question. What do you like? What are you like? What are you like? Mm -hmm. I am tall uh, in talkative. Tall in talkative. Okay. Now you, animal, ask a question, please, to somebody else. Christian here. Christian here. Uh, what you what are you like? What you like? Repeat please. What 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 you like? What are you like? I'm sure. Talkative and really friendly. Okay, thank you so much. Now you please go ahead and ask one more person. Um, Carla Joanna, what are you like? I am sure, really friendly, pretty and funny. All right, pretty and funny. Good job. Okay, guys, we're going to stop it right here, right now. Now, just one more thing I want to say right here, and we're going to do a little practice about this, okay? So what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to play the audio for uh, this activity, and so you're going to listen, and it says, listen to four descriptions. Check the correct adjective in each description. So for example, Karen is short, tall, tall, short, short, tall. You will click it, you will listen to it. Marco is heavy or thin. Elena is friendly or shy. Andrew is funny or serious. So what you're going to do is that guys. Uh, I'm going to play the audio and I need you to listen and you can write on your notebook. Pueden escribir en su cuerno, por ejemplo, number one, Karen is short or Karen is tall, okay? If you if you done it, si ya lo hicieron, much better. And that's better. Easy lo hicieron, hay que hacerlo otra vez. <laughs> let's practice once again. All right, so let's go. I'm going to play the audio one time, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yes? All yeah, right. Yeah. Here we go. Let me just reload it. Listen to four descriptions. Check the correct words. One. What's your friend Karen like? She's a little quiet, but she's really smart. Is she very tall? No. No, she's not. She's short. Two. Who's that over there? My brother, Marco. He's only eight. Well, he's very cute. Marco? I don't think he's cute, but he's a little thin. Three. Wow, who's that? She's really pretty. Oh, that's my girlfriend, Elena. Really? What's she like? Well, she's pretty, and she's really friendly. Four. What's Andrew like? Hmm. He's a little heavy, but he's very handsome. Is he funny? Funny? Uh, well, no. He's not funny, but he's very handsome. Okay, so I think we got it right here, right? Um, 
let's see. Okay, so, all right, for example, number one, Karen is what? Sure. 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 All right. Sure. What about Marco? Thing. 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 Mm -hmm. And if I say Elena? Friendly. Okay. Friendly. And what about Andrew? Serious. Serious. All right. Now let's check it out. And here we go. We got it all correct. So you guys are doing pretty good with that. Okay. Now, guys, do you have a question about any of the topics that we have been studying? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan sobre algunos de los temas que hemos estado viendo? you have any question? Mm -hmm. No? Yes? Could it be? No questions? Or yes? Sí, sure. Tell me. Sorry. It's, uh, no es acerca de esto, pero fíjese que en la plataforma a la hora de realizar unos ejercicios me los muestra como incorrectos, pero están correctos, o eso creo. O sea, lo he intentado de varias maneras, pero no, no puedo. Entonces, no sé. Y le escribí a un este, compañero colaborador del grupo, uh -huh. pero aún no me contesta. Pero supongo que hoy es su último día, ¿verdad? Eh... Yes, pero este, no, tenemos hasta mañana midnight, tomorrow midnight, Friday midnight, hasta oh. este día es que este, usted pueden a, trabajar o hacer todo lo que tengan que hacer, Teacher, right? mm -hmm. eh, a nosotros nos han dicho que tenemos hasta jueves a la medianoche para entregar las actividades. Bueno, entonces, that's what they told me, but then go ahead and work it out, entonces hasta el jueves hasta la medianoche, ahora lo que podemos hacer entonces es ver ese ejercicio uh, Fernando, you tell me which one is it and we can just do it mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es Fernando? Oh, okay. Okay. Right now? Uh -huh. Tell me Christian um, Fue lo que me pasaba a mí que le comentaba ayer tuve que ingresar de diferentes dispositivos a la plataforma uh -huh. porque de mi computadora, de mi desktop, no me reconocía los apóstrofes. Luego uh -huh. lo hice de la laptop y luego del celular. Uh -huh. Y aún así, algunas respuestas, hubieron como dos o tres que sí me quedaron malas, uh -huh. aunque estuvieran buenas pero es como que algo no reconoce el, el sistema. Porque sí, tuve que conectarme a diferentes dispositivos para poder realizarlo. Uh -huh. Sí, fíjese que, vaya, ahí la verdad es que como si, si es lo que está pasando, eh, lo, que, lo que tienen que hacer, o sea, ya lo hicieron, ya lo reportaron, right uh, ya lo reportamos, entonces... Ahí solo habría que esperar. Y si uh, en algún momento ustedes tienen la oportunidad de hablar con alguien, eh, o sea, porque nosotros también los reportamos, pues, pero este, eh, ya las personas que están a cargo del, digamos, del mantenimiento de la plataforma o el soporte técnico de la plataforma, entonces eh, ya con ellos también se puede ver. Porque, por ejemplo, ustedes les pueden eh, llamar, un ejemplo, y, o les pueden preguntar, mire, ¿por qué no hizo esto? ¿Por qué se quedó así? Eh, tan poquito porcentaje o por qué le salieron malas, es ahí uno ya aprovecha y también dice, mire, fíjense que esto ha pasado, lo reportamos con el teacher, lo reportamos al grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, ahora, yo de mi parte también voy a, voy a, eh, voy a estar eh, siguiendo ese caso y ver qué, eh, qué está pasando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues, eh, sí, de ahí es como que... Sí, o sea, yo les mentiría si le digo que yo puedo, like, check it right now. I mean, I, I want, I'm not able to do that. Pero sí, a veces pasa. O sea, es weird, actually, pero sí ha pasado, como se dice, que no le ha, no le ha reconocido los apostrofes de un dispositivo, pero de otro sí va. So, probablemente sea el apostrofe that we are using, 
but it's what it is. Mm -hmm. Lo que yo noté ayer en la plataforma era que, digamos que si estamos en una conversación y hay como dos formas de, de responder, y si en un apartado respondemos de una y en el otro de otra forma, es como que por eso me tiraba error a mí, ¿verdad? Pero no, mm -hmm. no sé si... Ok, that can be, I mean, that can be as well. O sea, por ejemplo, a veces nos está pidiendo que respondamos en negativo o contractado, right? Y si no lo contractamos, por ahí puede ir también, o si lo contractamos y no es así. Entonces, también hay ciertas cositas. Por eso les digo, cuando tengan uno así, tratemos de revisarlo juntos acá en la clase. Y si a, aún así usted lo puso igual como lo pusimos aquí, aquí sí nos dio bien, entonces ahí sí hay que, hay que verlo. Mm -hmm. We have to report it. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Yo también tuve un problema con la anterior, la, la sección 2, la 212, mm -hmm. que a mí no me reproduce el, el video. Y cuando me, me tiro un, un enunciado de descarga, cuando lo intento descargar, no me lo descarga tampoco. Entonces, ese no lo pude hacer. Y lo reporté y no me dieron solución. O sea, me dijeron que me iban a, me iban a solucionar el problema. O sea, me iban a ver qué, qué es lo que pasaba. Y uh -huh. nunca me contestaron uh -huh. después. Uh -huh. Miren, la, ahí es como... Yo le digo, yo, yo reporto esto, ¿va? pero ahí es como que hay que seguirles insistiendo. Uh, I mean, keep insisting. O sea, si no le responden, hay que seguir ahí insistiendo, pues porque al final pues, es algo que ustedes ven. ¿va? Entonces... Eh, Teacher, y, eh, igual a mí me pasó lo que dice él, que no me lo descarga, uh -huh. pero yo hice los ejercicios desde el teléfono y sí me sale bien, pero si lo hago en la laptop, igual no me lo descarga, solo en el teléfono. Uh -huh. Tal vez puede intentar él y hacerlo desde el teléfono y tal vez sí puede. Sí, gracias, gracias por tratar de dar soluciones. La verdad es que sí, o sea, o sea no tendría que ser, pues, pero a veces pasan cosas, ¿no? Y, o sea, hay que ver de qué forma la solucionamos, ¿va? Pero igual, o sea, les digo, si ustedes pueden seguir reportando todo esto, I mean, keep doing it. Eh, hay que seguir haciéndolo. Uh -huh. So, y no, como dicen por ahí, no le demos agua hasta que nos respondan. <ríe> ok. Uh -huh. So, Floricia. Eh, el caso es de que igual a mí se han dado problemas en la primera, en la primera actividad de, del examen. Uh -huh. la segunda respuesta y le he puesto de todo y no me la hace por ejemplo me la tira uh -huh. nada. y entonces sí, el mismo. caso es de que bueno estamos aprendiendo entonces este siento que me confundo un poco en eso porque eh, eh, pienso que está bien de la forma que lo estoy haciendo y me tira error entonces ya como que se confunde uno que duda y cosas así, entonces por los problemas que da en la plataforma, entonces no sé si, si sería bueno alguna sugerencia para que en el grupo, no sé, pudiéramos ayudarnos entre compañeros o, o existe otra forma, pues que no sea de, de, o que alguien que sí nos solucione, porque si necesitan, bueno, nos ponen el, el tiempo para que podamos entregar entonces nosotros tenemos los problemas y no podemos como resolverlos nosotros. Ajá. Sí, uh, mire, de hecho yo, yo lo estaba reportando como les digo, y o sea, claro, de vez en cuando, o sea, cuando ustedes puedan y dan una solución o saben o dicen, miren, yo estaba haciendo esto y ahorita hice esto y me funcionó, pues hay que tratar de hacerlo. A uh, la larga, pues uh, nos ayudamos unos a otros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. So that's very good. Sí, porque yo, yo dije, o sea, pienso que pueden pensar que es como que uno quiere que le den las respuestas sin esforzarse, pero en realidad son problemas que, que nos da en la, la plataforma o, o en el aparato, no sé. Entonces, ¿está bien o no está bien preguntar en el grupo? No, yeah, actually, that's pretty good. You can actually ask on the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. There's no problem. I will say it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Why not? Mm -hmm. okay guys. Eh, acabo de 
reescribirle a Andy otra vez. <ríe> eh, entonces ahí, eh, ahí sigo reportando sus issues eh, para ver qué, qué puede pasar y espero que les puedan ayudar con eso, right? Um, so, that's what it is. I mean, desearía yo tener acceso a la, a la edición de la plataforma y ver qué onda, qué pasa, pero no, no tengo, así que <ríe> solo puedo reportarlo, así que solo eso. Pero, ajá. I mean, because I have worked with these platforms before, so, you know, I kind of know how they, how they work, but anyways, that's what it is. Bueno, uh, thank you. Gracias por tomar los minutos ahí de dar el feedback y todo. Otra vez, ahí voy a seguir insistiendo hasta ver que les puedan ayudar con eso, ¿ok? So, thank you for that. Uh, ya casi nos vamos, pero antes... <laughs> Okay. Ahí vi a Stella. Teacher. Ok. Ya leí su mensaje hace ratito. <laughs> ok. So, um, all right. Uh, so, ok, guys. Now, listen. Just as the way, as a way to review everything that we have, I had a speaking activity prepared, but I'm afraid we're not going to be able to do it. Creo que ya no vamos a tener suficiente tiempo. Pero tenía algunas preguntas. I had a few questions que puedan ayudarnos para una speaking activity. Uh, es como un summary de todos los topics que hemos visto en la sección 1 and 2 and 3, ¿ok? Con esta de ahora, de esta semana. So, for example, these are a few questions. Pueden tomarle ahí ustedes una screenshot si quieren y asegúrense de poder como preguntar y responder esas preguntas. Ustedes pueden hacer eso, es como que, mm, sí, agarré algo ¿eh? <ríe> en la sección. No pasé de noche, ¿va? literal estamos de noche, pero no pasaron de noche, right? Ok, so that's what it is. So that's going to help you to practice, okay? So, for example, if I ask right now, uh, Iris, uh, Iris, uh, how do you spell your name? Hmm? How do you spell your name, Iris? My name, Miss Mile, Iris, uh, I-R-I-S. I-R-I-S, good job. Uh -huh. Now, Iris, can you ask one of those questions to one of your classmates, please? Mm, how old are you, Floricia? Mm, listen to the question. Listen to the question. Uh -huh. Repeat the question, Iris, please. <laughs> how old are you? Hi. How old are you? I am fighting. Mm, pretty close, pretty close. But is this one? How old um, are you? Uh -huh. I am. Mm, um, 50, 50. Mm, okay, like in my yeah, case. Or... Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, in my case, I can say I am 20 years old, 30 years old, 100 years old, you know, so it's okay. All right, so now you, Floricia, ask a question to one of your classmates, please. Anderson. Okay. Where is the, where is the number? Okay, invent la, la respuesta, Anderson. Make up the answer, invent it. Uh, repeat. Where is the cell phone number? Where is the cell phone? Cell phone. Mm -hmm. We have to use prepositions right there. In, on, before, um, I'm sorry. In front of, behind, next to. No? No. Ok. Ahí tenemos que usar las prepositions. ¿Se acuerdan? Um, por ejemplo, you can say something like this. Ok. The cell phone is next to the box, for example. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Anyways, I mean, time's not enough. Uh, we didn't have all the time. But if you want to take a screenshot of all the questions and just do the questions yourself, ask the questions yourself, that's going to be okay. 
All right, guys. So tomorrow, no classes. I'm going to see you until Monday. Okay. So I'll see you on Monday, guys. You guys take care. Enjoy your weekend. If you drink, don't drive. Okay. Don't do that. All right. So I'll see you guys. Bye bye. You guys take care. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. bye, teacher. bye, -bye. Take care. Question. Tell me. Uh, si nosotros tenemos problema, digamos, en alguna tarea, ¿dónde podemos consultar? O sea, con usted o... Sería con, con Andy um, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Eso es todo. Gracias. Ok, no problem, no problem. Okay, see you later. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.